in which direction you will water the plant upward downward in which direction downward why so why so just imagine now suppose i am thirsty and i want to drink a water so i will bring it close to my mouth or i i, I will bring it close to my feet because i can drink from our mouth my mouth only you can also drink from your mouth only isn't it yes similarly plant can absorb the water through roots only it can't absorb water through their leaves through their stems through their flowers so that's why we given downward direction because through downward direction only plant can absorb the water okay only the roots okay only the roots absorb the water got it so that's why we water the plant in downward direction is it clear yes. now because water is going in downward direction mixing with the soil and soil is having nutrients also that we already given in the last session that is new uh, manure or fertilizers so now those minerals get mixed with water and along with water plant is absorbing nutrients and water both clear yes yes now here also like i ask you if you do not water a plant what will happen it will get dry and it will die here fully water plants it's growing fully healthy okay so we should water a plant but we should not over water a plant like we needs eight glass of water if we drink 18 glass of water what will happen we will vomit out we will feel uh, our stomach is full we do not eat anything and that is also not good for us excess of everything is bad we should have water that much we can take okay not over of that so let's see here excess of everything is bad here you can see here still no plant is growing because everywhere is water now if just imagine if we get inside the water what will happen we get drawn we feel suffocated isn't it yes but still we need water to drink we need water to survive we can't live without water but if we take more water if we go inside the water we feel suffocated so that same water is now bad for us okay similarly for the plant also plant also need to breathe they breathe through their roots also now if we cover the soil with water so how do plants breathe how do they get oxygen they also not able to breathe okay and also what will happen more nutrients get accumulated like more salt is getting accumulated so it hard for them to survive okay so that's why excess of water is also not needed so now here is a question let's see we can get it out or not why excess of irrigation is bad for sandy soils in hot deserts okay when you water the plant uh, water get inside the soil yes yes so that water make pores also do they make pores also around the roots no na now sandy soil is like have you seen sand timer sand clock like this sand clock like this have you seen yes. sand pass through it very easily sand particles are very dry okay they cannot absorb water what that's why uh, if you have you know heard a news in dubai recently flood was there why it was not that you know we can say rain still there uh, there was flood because their soil is sandy soil that cannot hold the water it will you know get away or get along with the water okay so that's why okay so excess irrigation is bad for sandy soil sandy soil cannot hold the water and that's why so water get wasted also 
ओके वी गिव वॉटर टू दैट सैन ओके नाउ वट वी कैन डन और कैन डू टू मेक सैंडी सॉइल कल्टिवेबल और वी कैन से फर्टाइल हाउ कैन वी मेक सैंडी सॉइल फर्टाइल हाउ कैन वी ग्रो प्लांट्स इन सैंडी सॉइल वट कैन वी डू Yes, can we do something to make soil fertile? In the last session, we learned how can we make soil fertile. First row, second last bench, boy. Yes, yes. Come close to the mic. I adding manures and fertilizer. That's good. That's good. So that is how we can make a soil fertile or cultivable because the manure, you know. that helps to hold the water that makes soil you know fertile so that should be done okay in that way we can make sandy soil fertile clear so now let's move so what are these in both pictures what you can see what are these so what we call it when these are growing on a plant or a crop no weeds are unwanted plant okay no down no down if we are saying weeds so weeds are what weeds are unwanted plant means those plant that that we are not growing these are unwanted plant undesired plant that we don't want to grow or we don't want to grow in our field so these are growing along with our desired crop that we have you know that we wanted we want to grow okay so now the weeds are basically competitor why these are competitor to our main crop now i can see like in first row in first bench two students are sitting if i bring two more students to sit on same bench what will happen yes first bench middle row ma'am they will do competition for seat they will compete for the seat now there is a fighting for the resources no i will get this much seat i will get this much seat please give me this much area isn't it similarly now you both are my main crop okay now if i bring two more plant that are weeds so what will happen they will compete for everything with you isn't it similarly so that weed will compete with our main crop for the space for the nutrient for the sunlight for the water everything so we are want, we want to give 100% to two crops that are first bench okay we don't want to give our resources to other two students so that is why weeds are not good for our main crop because they are taking their nutrients their uh, water their sunlight from them and do not make them as healthy as we want got it what are weeds is it clear students who will tell me now what are weeds if it's clear do tell me what are weeds yes uh last row second last boy girl, uh, boy blue shirt weeds are unwanted plant that are grown with the crops they harm the crops they they contain nutrients from the crop that's good that's good yes so basically these are comp competitor for our main crop that's good and we can remove it using a chemical like weed site or using manually by sickle okay coming to this that we are discussing so these are insects or we can call it pest we can call it pest write down these are called pest and these are basically destroying our crop like here you can see on the screen also okay they are eating leaves they can eat fruits they can eat vegetable fruit everything so we don't want them to grow on our crop because they are destroying it so what can be done what can be done in that case we should use something against them and that is called pesticides 
pesticides are used to kill pests so now they nowadays we have organic pesticides also like from the neem tree from the eucalyptus tree many okay but still farmers use chemical pesticides so chemical pesticides are not good for our health not good for our environment also because these are chemical when we spray it on the crop what will happen firstly the farmer who is spraying it you know here you can see he is spraying this on a crop okay he is spraying this on a crop so that time this farmer is also inhaling the fumes okay firstly it is not good for his health also secondly now he is spraying this on the crop now from the crop it will goes to everyone who is having that crop product third soil is absorbing those pesticide now it is going inside the soil also and thus with the soil it is going along with the water to the ground water also now this pesticide is not only affecting this much area it is affecting everywhere it is going everywhere with the water okay so what that what we thought that no it is only affecting this much area no it is not affecting this much area it is affecting whole area clear how it is affecting whole area because when it's rain when we irrigating the soil what will happen this chemical will infiltrate the soil it give, goes inside the soil and where it going it is going to meet ground water or recharge ground water and by doing so it is basically contaminating ground water and we are drinking water only that water only and that is how we are also getting affected by this pesticide okay and this pesticide may cause us many severe diseases like tumors like skin problems like many more okay so that is what so are pesticides good for crops if used for long time do you think it is good for crops say yes or no say yes or no 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 it is not good for crops but why if it's not why because it is affecting us it is affecting environment it is affecting surrounding okay so that is why so now here is a question related to this there is a farmer who has big land he keeps a part of land for their home purpose in which he grows crops for their home he doesn't use chemical fertilizers chemical pesticides etc in this field but uses these chemical in rest of the field to get good crop to get good money so is this the right approach no no because he is getting selfish okay he is only thinking for himself to get you know organic food but for the others he is giving anything okay does his crop for his home is totally free from chemical do you think it's free from chemical like if we are having he is having this field okay these are the two fields here he is growing for himself and here he is growing for others like i told you spray the water you know the chemicals will get inside the soil and if it get inside the soil what will happen it will reaches here also na it will not remain in that area only it will goes everywhere it will go everywhere na so now his crop is also affected okay his crop also affected even though he believe that it is not okay because here he is spraying pesticides chemicals and these chemicals are going inside the soil along with the water and that water is going everywhere okay and that's why his crops are also affected by this pesticide or chemicals is it clear is it clear raise your hand if it's clear okay okay so i have given you answer of this already why or why not okay so now our crop is now ready ready to reap now we need to harvest it who will tell you what is harvesting 
ओके मिडल रो फर्स्ट बेंच कॉर्नर गर्ल फर्स्ट बेंच फर्स्ट बेंच कॉर्नर गर्ल यस मैम व्हेन वी ग्रो क्रॉप्स दैट मैम व्हेन वी ग्रो क्रॉप्स एंड इट इट हैव टू कट दैट इज कॉल्ड हार्वेस्टिंग ओके दैट्स गुड so coming to who who will tell me more okay okay middle middle girl middle girl yes yes harvesting is the process of cutting down of grown crops yes grown or mature crops that's good good so now here you can see it is called harvesting okay it is called harvesting and harvesting can be done by two method so you already learnt in your class also first is using this yes sickle by using sickle okay first is this and second is by using this big vehicle or machine that is called harvester it is called harvester yes so we can use either of these two methods okay now once our crop is with us what we need to do now we need to get grains from that isn't it so how do we get grains firstly yes first method is first what we do we need to give threshing what is threshing who will tell me what is threshing yes who will tell me threshing uh, last row i can see a uh, uh, second bench or third bench blue color who raised hand yes then threshing is separating grains from the crop yes by beating it against the raised surface so here you can see go you can sit down this is a raised surface they beat it against the surface and what will happen the grains over here along with the shaft they separated from the stalk okay so here stalk from stalk we get grains and shaft okay so that is what we get it now we need to separate these two now so what we do yes what we do we knowing yes so here the second method is we knowing we do we knowing so we knowing is what who will tell me raise your hand who will tell raise your hand a uh, middle row second bench middle girl red in red yes what is we knowing i'm separating of seeds but how how can we separate okay now first bench this corner first bench yes and the process of separating grains from chaff by the uh, direction of the air is known as winnowing yes that's good so here you can see it is against the direction of the wind here you can see now seeds or grains okay are heavier these are heavier but chaff is lighter it's lighter so now here is the wind flowing in this direction seeds being heavier they will settle down here but chaff that is lighter it will be blown away by wind so that is how we get our grains here and chaff blow away with wind okay so that is what called winnowing that is the principle of winnowing clear is it clear raise your hand if it's clear okay that's good now our grains are with us what we need to do what is the last step of the agricultural practices storage now we need to store it so in earlier times or in traditional way we can store it in a mud bin like mud bin is made up of what it's made up of mitti only now jute bag in jute bag also we can store it 
Now in industries, silos, big metallic bins are used to store grains for a proper, you know, for a longer time. And sometimes we can uh, put neem leaves, dry neem leaves also there to prevent the, you know, exposure of microbes in that. So there are many ways to store it. Okay. So that is what. Now students, your assignments are with you. Take out your assignments. Now, first aid, seeds are sown at proper distance. First, to avoid competition for food space. B, so that all plants get sufficient light and nutrients. C, so that they do not spread infection or D, both A and B. So, who will tell me about this? Okay, first row, third bench, boy, red shirt. First row, yes. Yes, um, you're not audible. Speak it. Say it again. I'm option D. Option B? D. Option B or D? I'm D. Okay, you're saying B. All are agree with? I'm D. D, yes, it's D. Why it's D? Because to avoid competition for food and water or space or get enough energy so that there should be no competition competition between the plants that's good now c sorry two excess of irrigation is harmful as it causes water logging of soil in which water replaces air in the soil roots cannot breathe in excessively irrigated soils it causes an increase in the salt content of soil due to which plants cannot absorb water or d all of the above Okay, show me the fingers. For one, this. For two, this. For three, this. For the D, this. So I'll see how many of you got it. So show me the fingers. Everyone. I want answer from everyone. First bench. Yes. So yes, it's D. Yes, you all are right. Well done. Well done. So eutrophication means eutrophication. Uh, basically, if we there is a water logging, so it is related to water logging. You already learned in your class also. So, toxication of water by fertilizers decrease the growth of algae, increase in the fertility of the soil or all of the above. Okay, I think first, okay, got it. I can see only few hands are raised. I can see. Eutrophication is what? It is related to stagnant water. It is related to excess something. So, tell me. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Uh, ma'am, sorry for interruption. Yes, ma'am. Uh, have to go to ground for investiture uh, ceremony, and uh, they can't uh, continue uh, mass class due to investor uh, investiture uh, ceremony. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sure, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So, students, so let's uh, do this assignment in next class. Then, okay, we will have your test also for, of this chapter. So, be ready for the next class. Okay. So, okay, students. Okay, students. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, students. Bye.